All right, I wanted to show you guys what one of these cells, um, same metals, aluminum wire, aluminum wire, and distilled water. This is the aluminum wire I use. There's the brand, it's 17 gauge, 250 feet. I got this off Amazon.com. Just want to show you guys what this one cell will do. Just regular old distilled water. To show you the performance of the cell. And here's the other plate. And now instead of putting this in, in, I'll put the other end in. And you see, each end produces its own power. I got some other plates over here. And each plate is a little bit different in the way it uh, provides power. You see that plate's going up. And like I said, they're both the same. I'm gonna short the plates out in the water. See? They're both the same. Both aluminum. It's amazing. Amazing. Pretty cool. And I got another plate, not each plate. Produces a good amount, but each one's different. But uh, I'll try one more, I guess. This one's got a funny shape to it. Yeah, this is not a very good producer. Try this in. Yeah, it was not very good. But there's no hidden wires, it's just two of the same metals and distilled water, aluminum wire, that's the brand, model number, 17 gauge, no hidden wires, no trickery here, there's the plates I've used. Nothing special, just they say this can't be done. They say you have to use two dissimilar metals. Obviously, I've proven that wrong. It's using the same metals and pure distilled water. You can use tap water, but tap water with the minerals is, will actually destroy the aluminum coating that is on the plate. So, using pure distilled water is works best. And you can get voltage from it. You don't need the summer metals. So, it just doesn't rely on the galvanic reaction. And it works. It's, like I said, distilled water with two of the same metals in that water. Same solution. It's pure distilled water. It's, they say it can't be done, and I've shown you that it can be done.